Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines, just giving you a quick missionary update. So this past week we had 112 salvations between our churches. We had soul winning several times in Manila and Pampanga as well. And um, we did have the ladies' tea party for Pampanga, which we had at our house. And then in Manila, we had the ladies' tea party, which we had at the church building. So we had the ladies' tea party during the soul winning time on Sunday. And so the men went out soul winning, the ladies um, had the tea party. And we very much find, I, I think it's very important that ladies are out soul winning. I actually preached on that a little bit in both sermons on Sunday. But, you know, it is a special event for Mother's Day, and uh, the Ladies' Tea Party is a big event that we want to do as an annual event going forward. This is the first year that we've had it, but everyone had a great time, and we had uh, great attendances at both churches. And um, so things are going pretty well. The sermon's preached. Uh, Brother, Brother Mateus preached on Wednesday night. We're doing a rotating schedule for the, the services in Manila. As, um, you know, as my family is now in Pampanga, so we have a lot of guys that are rotating. We have different people preaching the next several weeks, and so that's going to be exciting. They're doing a great job, and um, he finished the book of Haggai on, on Wednesday. On Sunday, um, you know, I preached on the ostrich mom for the services in Pampanga and Manila on the weekends, and I talked about the example of the ostrich who um, is laboring, and I do believe um, has a love for her young, but just lacks wisdom. And kind of the key the Bible's trying to teach is the importance of ladies being godly and, and having a personal walk with God. That is the most important thing in being a good mom, is to actually have your own personal walk with God. And then I talked about Romans 16, respect for workers. And so um, next week we'll finish Romans completely. We're going to be moving on to 1 John, but I do have a few weeks of intermediate sermons that are going to go along as I do the False Philosophy series, which is going to be for a while. But then a few other sermons that were ideas that I came up with before we move into 1 John. So we're going to be starting the First John Bible Memorization Challenge pretty much whenever anybody wants to. I'd encourage you, if you're listening out there, to join us in that First John Bible Memorization Challenge. Um, you know, it's, First John is probably the book that's the most confusing on salvation. There are some verses that are kind of tricky. So we want to dig into that book. And uh, we had a lot of people that memorized the book of Hosea. I encourage you to dig into the book of uh, 1 John and do the memorization with us, and you're going to learn a lot from the Word of God. So, um, you know, we're excited about that. Things are going pretty well out here. Um, this Thursday, we do have a soul winning marathon. Uh, we have a, uh, There's a holiday for the end of Ramadan. Many people have the day off work, so we will have soul winning on this Thursday. And so um, that's going to be a great event. We are hitting, we pretty much hit the end of the peak season for soul winning. Um, it's getting definitely a lot hotter now, and the rainy season will come upon us probably pretty soon. And of course, we're still going to be doing soul winning during that time period, but um, it, it, our results might be a little bit less than during the beginning of the year. Really, the first four months is when we do the big push with lots of holidays, great weather, and it gets to the point where it gets really hot during this time of year. So people need to take, make sure they're taking care of their bodies. A lot of people have been sick. But overall, things are going well at church. They've definitely been busy, um, but things are going well overall. Um, you know, the government is somewhat strict. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to see. I know that they, they changed the rule for if you're landing in the Philippines, the quarantining seems like it's gone up. It was like for one week. Now it's 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 it seems like it's more. It's We're kind of taking it day by day. But overall, things are going well. And so anyways, just... Uh, Thank you for all the prayers and, and, and support for our ministry. And uh, we're, we're making a lot of updates to our YouTube. I'm making a lot of videos, so I encourage you to check out those videos, just trying to uh, teach on various different topics of things that I've studied. So anyways, thank you for your time, and God bless.